Hey everybody, happy homebrew Wednesday. It's Brad here at Wild Boys Brewery, Pook NC channel. Uh, what I got going on today is I've got a new toy and I am cleaning some kegs with it. And what I did with it was um, I hooked it up to where it's on both the gas and the beer both. Got a little T running off the T fit and it fits to the pump in there. And if you can see the little T fitting with that coming off of it, and then that runs to another T fitting, and then that runs off to the quick disconnects, and then there's another main shaft that goes up inside of it. And you just fill this thing up full of water, put a little PBW in it, and uh, then let it run, warm water, let it run for about 15 minutes, clean your kegs, wipe them off, let them drain a little bit, then you get them all clean, then fill them out and rinse them out. Put a little sanitizer in them and you don't have to take kegs apart no more to clean them. So I was pretty happy about that. I'll probably still take them apart every so often and clean them, but not every time I swap them out. Um, that's what the keg washer's for. And uh, that's pretty much what I got going on, just a quick update. And uh, this thing's been running for about five minutes, working good. Uh, happy with it so far, let's know how it turns out. Um, I'll come back when I get it uh, done running and uh, do another quick update and uh, show you the inside of the keg once this thing's done running. Alright, there is the inside of the keg sparkling clean after being run with PB, run through with PBW for about 15 minutes. Uh, the one thing I did notice about having both of the gas and liquid sides hooked up at the same time is that the liquid side does not circulate like it should um, because there's too much resistance on that long tube so what I'm gonna do my instead of hooking them both up and running them th the full 15 minutes is I'm gonna hook the um, the gas side up and run it for about five minutes because that's a little short tube and it don't need to be flushed out much and then turn it off and hook up the or the liquid side and then let that dip tube flush out for 10 minutes and so it'll still run for 15 minutes but the uh, short tube will get five the long one will get 10 and when I when I had just the the long dip tube hooked up it circulated through just fine and just that pump doesn't have enough balls to push water up through the middle tower and both the uh, gas and liquid both um, it's not a super heavy duty pump I mean if you're using one of those six horsepower submersible sump pumps you'd probably get away with hooking everything up at one time and flushing it like that but um, this is gonna work fine so I'm happy with it I just have to run the short one for five minutes and the long one for ten uh, but I got the kegs clean and right now I am I took a wet paper towel and just wiped the Krausen ring out of the inside of that bucket and then I just stuck it on there and let it run for 15 minutes. Uh, one of the things you do have to do with these uh, Mark II cleaners and all, and really with any of them, is you need to get the rinse the whatever you're cleaning out first and get all the crap off of it so you're not sitting there circulating Krausen and dried hot particles and crap through your system and through your pump while you're trying to clean it. So get the big stuff out with the water wand and then just put it on the uh, base in there and let it run for about 10, 15 minutes, whatever, and then it should be good to go. Then just uh, sanitize it and then you're ready to use it. Alright, we're kegging the red and so one of you in here. This thing was supposed to finish up at like 10.19. Looks like it's about 10.19, 10.18. is the color. Looks nice. Going in the keg full of CO2 here that I just got through cleaning on my new keg cleaner. And what I'm going to do is just uh, carve this up, force carve it, and then bottle off the tap, and then send a few out to a few people. And I'll just uh, over carve it a little bit, so if it loses a little bit during the bottling process, it'll still be right where it needs to be. 
So I will probably send in some of this out in about a week or so to a few people and I'll let you know who you are. That is going to wrap up this week's Homebrew Wednesday. Happy Homebrew Wednesday, everybody. Cheers.